Today on Dream Digs, we go inside the $7 million New York City loft that has a zip line, a full-size spiral slide, a climbing wall, and more. So much fun. I'm Allie Wiseman, and this is Dream Digs. Pediatrician Beth Worley has four kids under the age of 14. Each child got to design their own dream bedroom, and nothing was off limits. Catherine, Alex, Lucy, and Caspian are going to show us not only their one-of-a-kind bedrooms, but also the family's biggest splurge, their most prized possession, and the best seat in the house. Today, we're outside the New York City loft that's every kid's dream come true. I was concerned about having four children in a New York apartment and cooped up in the winter time with nothing to do. So we decided to create a veritable playground in the back of our apartment. Welcome to our apartment! The 4,000 square foot loft takes over the entire floor of a residential building. It has a 50 foot wide great room with 11 foot tall ceilings, 14 windows, and a perfectly framed view of the Empire State Building. It was in the large chef's kitchen that we found the family's biggest splurge, a 17 foot custom concrete kitchen island. One of my favorite things in this apartment is this cement countertop. They came in with big cement mixers and built the structure and then poured the concrete. We designed this to be able to seat eight or 10 kids uh, along it. And then it also transitions really well to adult dinner parties. Because I love entertaining so much, it makes sense that this would be my biggest splurge. Behind the large kitchen and living room area is the children's wing. The hallway connecting all four siblings' bedrooms comes complete with the family's most prized possession, a zip line. This zip line is our most prized possession. <laughs> we decided we wanted a zip line and uh, worked with our architect to figure out how to do it. When my younger brother was really little, we'd take a little bag, it was canvas, and we'd hook it on and we push him in the back. It wasn't super safe, but it was fun. This zip line is my most prized possession. It's the most unique thing in the whole house. Definitely, 100%. Outside of my room, I spend most of my time on this thing. Each child got to choose one unique feature for their room. Late in the summer of 2012, I boarded a plane with my four young children in tow. We were leaving a big suburban house in Menlo Park and moving to Manhattan. About an hour into the flight to JFK, I began to panic and partly to alleviate my anxiety about the move um, and partly to entertain my kids during the flight, I tasked them with drawing pictures of what their dream room would look like. Luckily, my kids are super creative and they had just a bevy of ideas, um, many of which we were able to do. Uh, we searched for an architect and uh, interviewed a few who thought we were <laughs> a little crazy and then found Studio DB who took the project and uh, they were very excited to run with it. We have my lovely rock ball. So much fun. I sat down with the kids to learn the inspirations behind their designs. And how did you choose the climbing wall as your feature in your bedroom? Because I love climbing. I, I climb on anything. All right, well, let me see. We got to put your skills to the test. Do, am I too big for this wall, or should I try no climbing? No way. You should definitely climb it. Come on. I did it. You did it. Woo! Do you want to try to Woo! down? No way, Jose. <laughs> wow. The siblings' bedrooms are all attached by a tunnel that goes above each room. These are some pretty sweet digs. What makes this room so special? 
the monkey bars. You know, you have those few adults who are like, oh, I'm too old, I can't do anything. And then you have those who are just gonna go out and do a full headstand. I love hanging it. Hanging upside down. Oh my gosh, look at this cool room. This is awesome. I used to and still do love maps. What's your favorite place in the world? New York City. Ah, good answer. Does it have anything to do with you get to come home to the coolest apartment in New York City? Yes, that, that is a big factor. Alex's room is also home to one very special feature, the best seat in the house. It's a custom hammock in the kids' tunnel that hangs above his bedroom. Alex even has his own ladder to get there. Are you sure this can support me? I'm oh, yeah. a lot bigger than you. Oh yeah. You pinky promise? I do. Above Caspian's room is the entrance to a spiral slide that empties into the media room. This is our playroom. It's awesome. It has a slide. Awesomest slide ever. You can climb into it, go down from it, climb onto it. So one of the fun things about the slide is you can climb up from the outside. And now I feel like I'm the king of this house. But the kids don't have total control of the house. Welcome to mom's master bedroom. I, I would like to say that this is my sanctuary, but that would be stretching it a little bit. Pretty much every time I come in, there are an extra child or two in my bed and some in the bathtub. So much fun. But come on in to my secret spot. So this is my study uh, when I really want to be alone and not hear anyone else. This is the best place in the house. I have two doors on each side that block out the noise from the rest of the house. Goodbye. Now that mom was in her quiet space, it was time for me to unleash my inner child. Allie, you have to try this. Is it my turn now? Yeah, it's your uh -oh. turn. Are you guys gonna push me down? Definitely. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one! <laughs> oh yeah, you're, ready? You're ready? Set, go. Tired. I gotta go home. Oh, all right, you guys tuckered me out today. Thanks for the most fun day ever. Have fun.